so now for the final part of sketching wanda maximoff we are going to focus mainly on the skin texture so let's start this tutorial and sharp your pencils before we start this tutorial and if you are just starting the sketch just focus that sharpening your pencil will make your sketch look more detailed and more beautiful and if you want to sharpen pencils in an artistic way i have uploaded a complete tutorial how to sharpen pencils so you can check out the i button you will find out how to sharpen pencils so let's just start this tutorial first of all to make a skin texture look more realistic and more beautiful that's the simple way that you should make a skin cells pores and this type of smaller to smaller distance type of things so but those type of things are for the advanced artist who knows where the direction of skin texture is going on where skin texture just going circle where this type of basic things when advanced artist knows they have just focused on the portrait or the skin texture and the mainly purpose that advanced artists make sketches look more beautiful because they apply their own things also but to get those parts like they have making sketches in 300 hours 100 hours 150 hours they have patience to make smaller to smaller details and they know how to make those type of details as a beginner they should they also wear a some part there's where starting they are like basic skills like shading like basic uh, applications like uh, techniques like grid technique direct technique and this type of things they those people were also beginners so starting to make a portrait using skin making skin texture you should focus that if your the portrait or any type of reference picture that you are using doesn't have details like the pores skin texture and this type of things i will recommend that don't make those type of details as i say in my every tutorial that this portrait of wanda there are no such signs of more and more pores and this type of cell structures so i am just gradually using edge pencil with the base layer and just blending using tissue like i am talking about every part of the skin texture i am not just talking about the forehead i am talking about every part of the portrait of wanda so using edge pencil as we have made a base layer and blending it using tissue now we are going to use a 3b pencil on the only parts which are darker like left hand side part of the forehead like left hand side part of the cheek part like left hand side part of the eye left hand side part of the neck these are the parts which are under shadows and those are the parts which are more darker so use 3b pencils on the only those parts and now to blend the 3b pencil i will recommend that you should use a makeup brush or paint brush because the skin flow is not having so much of details on this particular tutorial of wanda so you should focus on this basic thing so after blending the 3b pencil now if you see some parts like the chin part of wanda is little bit more darker and the left hand side part of the hairs which are more darker these are the parts which are more darker right so for those only those parts use 4b or 5b pencil as you see more and more darker values are going on now for the nose part as the left hand side part of the nose is darker and right hand side part of the nose is not actually visible because the skin tone of wanda is too light so and more light is coming on uh, in base the skin tone is lighter and of course light is also coming on those parts so of course it is looking little bit more invisible but there are, there are parts if you will zoom out you will see little bit more details so to make those details like if you can make uh, inner part of the nose you can make a visual like there is a nose so this is how your paint or your sketches will look if you will focus on details like if you will zoom out your pictures you will see details and the gallery application that you will use of your phones like most of the people use phones for sketching if you are a person that you are using a print and making manually outlines on those parts and grids and the type of things i will recommend that you use mobile phones use extra applications like pixart or snapseed they will help you to zoom out your pictures as much as you want and you will apply details on a particular one grid one box and this type of things now for the eyes part 
as we have discussed in uh, previous part also that eyes was complete and eyelashes we have completed so the uh, downside part of the eye there are smaller details like skin texture too small skin details are visible so zoom out your pictures and use mechanical pencils to make those smaller parts and use a blend not blending stump use a makeup brush to blend those parts keep on focusing that direction of skin is going downwards on the eyes part so you should focus on this type of things now for the eyebrow part it is more tougher because the eyebrows are looking like a complete white color or golden color complete golden color on right hand side part and because of the lighter light source and for the left hand side part of the eyebrow it is looking like a brown color so of course the color of this eyebrow of wanda is brown color but right hand side part of the eyebrow is looking more lighter and the reason is light source right so there for the right hand side part use a uh, edge pencil which is lightest one and sharpen your pencil so that you can make a smaller to smaller hairs and for the left hand side part of the eyebrows use a 3b pencil or 4b pencil and make those brown hairs just keep on focusing that while making eyebrows eyelashes then this type of things always make this type of hairs in the end or you can what happens is that why if you will make this type of hairs in the end if you don't have the base layer you have to just blend those eyebrows also and after blending those hair will look like flat thing and your hairs will pop as you can focus on your hairs or your eyebrows or your if you are a man if you are mustache also those hairs come out from your face those will look like a secondary thing those shouldn't be look like the skin texture as nose is a part of skin texture and these are these are the parts of skin texture right but um, like the hairs are coming pop out from the face or like the uh, head also hairs are coming outwards like so of course your hair should look with the uh, you should make those hairs finally after making the base layer this is the basic thing that i want to tell you and this is how your eyebrows will be done now for the lips part upper lip and lower lip is almost same but the difference is that the lower lip is looking layer a bit more lighter on the right hand side part but left hand side part of the lip is layer a bit more darker as we all know the light source <laughs> so of course making smaller to smaller details and upgrade your pencils like 2b pencil like base layer second layer third layer fourth layer go lower level of pencils to higher level of pencils up to 4b pencil or 5b pencil for the lips and your lips will be ready just use 4b pencil for the only parts which you see are darker because to make the darker red parts it will be a bit more tougher and this is how the sketch will be completed and if you have any queries you can just comment down below in this video and i will see you the day after tomorrow and real time sketch will be uploaded on my second channel which is switch cuts 2.0 till then see you bye bye tata so if you have learned something from this video subscribe and drop a like and comment down your question queries regarding this tutorial meanwhile take care take care of your loved ones too have an artistic day tattoos